So do you think that engineers are used to using the analytical mindset? So I think absolutely engineers are used to using the analytical mindset. I would say that most engineers, uh, yeah, to my perspective, they have that mindset. They don't really per se apply it on every, uh, on every topic. I do think that most engineers are very analyt analytical people, but I also found that after studying to become an engineer, it's actually emphasized a bit more because you get a very uh, logical uh, way of thinking and analyzing and problem solving, educated while you're at a technical university. So I think the good news is you can use this analytical mindset in a much broader way than, than sometimes we do. And I think if, if I go through my first years of my career as a consultant, that's what I learned. You, you get to ask yourself a lot of the questions. Why is that really happening? And what is happening next? What is happening next? So you're going from a on the ground view, working in it to a 10,000 feet view, looking at that same problem, but then you need to support from the 10,000 feet, you need to support your project manager, your an analyst to be successful. So you have to become sensitive to that and become sensitive to the uh, needs of other people around you and make sure you can you know, meet them in what they need and how they can understand the context to take them along to come to the right solution. So is power a game? Um, I, I don't often like to think in terms of power. I, I think in terms of human interaction and what sort of is important for people? It's No, it's not manipulating. It is just helping people to join the journey that you have been on in the last month. And you cannot expect people to directly understand that journey within 10 minutes. If you take people along the journey and you know what their interests are, and usually it is not so difficult to, to work with these interests of these different people is logic and just adding up the numbers here the right way to do it or is this more around following the storyline of that person and then adding the right facts and numbers or is this even at a whole different level which is hey how do i help this person achieve what they want to achieve but working harder and then think being smarter and getting a few extra digits behind the comma in your accuracy of your analysis will not help you but what I try to do is um, not think of what I think should happen at that moment, but try to handle out of respect for the people around me that also have their own goals, their own needs, and their own uh, interference with the problems or their solutions. When you communicate with people, always try to connect with those people. Uh, what I've observed for myself, but also with uh, colleagues I, I admire, they are uh, honest, they are vulnerable, they show that they're, you know, just like any other person trying to reach their goals within uh, yeah, their best abilities. And that, al that always creates uh, like sort of an emotional kind of uh, connection that makes people uh, believe what you say uh, sooner. Um, how, how do I communicate my message and, and what is it that I even want? Um, sense making is, I think, important because it drives people. So if you have people working with you on certain problems, they need to know what they are working towards. Engineers forget and they get so excited in that the numbers are right and you're trained here also in this university you're trained if the numbers are right well you get a good mark then you can go to the next class uh, but it is not in a business environment that if the numbers are right that the most brilliant ideas are 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 are, are approved and put to implementation uh, the audience who needs to decide on this takes many more other factors into account uh, when they take a decision like that and that is often forget, forgotten by a lot of engineers. So again, I think communication very much depends on variability of styles and, and, and using the right tools. In general, I would say engineers are more prone to a certain style. And I think when they get into kind of a society with a lot of non-engineers around as well, 
it'll be important to broaden their communication styles um, and understand what, what the audience wants. So yeah, start by asking questions and asking questions to find out who is that and what are they be, being influenced by.